Love them or hate them, Peter Bald cats are one of the most unique type of cat breeds around. From short hair to no hair, a long face with broad pointy ears and wrinkly skin, the Peter Bald cat does not look like your typical house cat. In this video, we are going to learn more about this unusual looking feline. Peter Bull cats are not your regular furry cats. Shockingly, they are a Russian breed, so one might wonder how they fared without a thick coat for warmth, especially in the winter. Peter Bull cats, also known as Baldies, were first created in St. Petersburg in the year 1994. The breed was named after the place along with its most obvious feature, its lack of hair. Where exactly did this breed come from? A felineologist, Olga S. Miranova, decided to mate a male Don hairless cat, also known as a Don Sphinx, with an oriental short hair. The result was four amazing Peter Bald kittens that became the first of its kind. Baldies started to increase in their numbers, but it wasn't until 1996 that the breed was fully adopted into the Selectional Feline Federation. Peter Baulds were then subsequently adopted into the International Cat Association in 1997. The Peter Bald cat closely resembles the Siamese types and the modern Orientals in the aspect of their physical features. Baldies have flat cheekbones, large wide ears that are set apart, a long muzzle as well as long legs. Even amongst themselves, Peter Bald cats are not all the same. They have slight variations in coats that give some of them a different look. Your Baldies fur, if they had one, may be of two distinct types on the body. The hairs may be soft and downy on the lighter side of the body, while the darker side are coarse and wiry. Did you know that your Baldies coat may change in the first two years of their lives? During this period, their hair texture may change. If your Peter Bald kitten has longer hair, they can develop into the variations with short hair, or they may even lose their fur coat and become completely bald. Let's take a look at the other physical features. The standard breed has medium-sized almond-shaped eyes. Any eye colour is acceptable and doesn't depend on the colour of the coat. Its long tail has a tapered end. Medium-sized oval paws with prominent toes are common for baldies. The head has the shape of an inverted triangle, extending from the tips of its long, broad ears to its chin. The ears are extra large with pointed tips and a wide base. The body is long and firm along with a well-developed muscular structure. The coat may be completely hairless and smooth or with short, fine brushes. It should be noted that no variation of baldies has full hair, so a full furry coat is certainly not a baldy. These hairless felines may be of any colour. Whiskers can be a bit dicey. They can appear wrinkled or curled. Sometimes there may be no whiskers at all. Baldies are 8 to 10 inches in height and 14 to 17 inches in body length. They may weigh between 6 to 10 pounds. How long do Peter Bald cats live? While there are many factors that determine the number of years any typical baldy would live, their life expectancy is between 10 to 12 years. Now, here comes the interesting part. What is the personality of Peter Bald cats and are they friendly? Baldies have been reported to have these four characteristics. Inquisitive, loyal, affectionate and dog-like. These fun-loving, whimsical creatures are adorable in the most unique way. They have a deep sense of loyalty that is similar to that of a dog. It is very affectionate towards humans, not just the family, but even to strangers. They are so sociable that they are excited to meet and greet new people, unlike other cats that need some time to get used to the suspicious new visitors. They do not like to be left alone and are therefore suited to owners that can spend plenty of quality time with them. If you have a very busy job and do not have the time, perhaps getting two pets would be preferable. This would provide your baldy with company and keep them from getting into a bit of destructive mischief as a result of boredom. Baldies love socialising. So whether they are in the company of humans, cats or dogs, baldies blend in pretty well and are fun to be around. Playtime is the most important time of the day for baldies, right after snack breaks. They take their personal amusement to a whole new level with their athleticism. They are highly intelligent pets that are always eager to learn new tricks. They make excellent family pets because they are neither selective nor excessively introverted like some cats are. If they are not climbing from one sofa and leaping onto the next, 
they are probably climbing to the highest vantage point in the house in order to get a good view of the area. This may be at the top of the shelf or a tree house on the lawn. Either way, they like to have a good view of their environment and then decide how and when to engage with their surroundings. They may even decide to help out with chores and absolutely love to get in the way. You can spend more time bonding with your baldy and help them to get fit by using smart toys or mobile toys that would keep them engaged for hours until they burn out all that energy. Playtime should be monitored especially with children or other pets. This is because baldies are vulnerable to injuries due to their lack of fur. Here is something else you need to know about baldies. They can be quite vocal with their opinion. They may walk about the house complaining of the insufficient attention that you give to them or the slight change in the quantity and quality of their diet. Whatever the case, they are a ball of entertainment and you can be rest assured that there is never a dull moment around them. How do you take care of your baldy and do they have any special needs? Baldies often suffer from weight-related diseases such as heart problems or obesity, so it is always advised to provide your pet with a high-protein diet along with plenty of exercise during playtime or bonding time with the family. Peter Bull breeds have a much higher metabolism than other cats with full fur coats. These suggest that they have a much larger appetite and would likely require a good diet in terms of quantity and quality. While it is important to keep them well fed, it is equally necessary to monitor their calorie intake to be sure that they are neither underfed nor overfed as this soon becomes visible in their bodies. Most cat foods have weight categories along with how much food should be served to your cat and how often. Worried about getting cat fur all over your beautiful furniture and expensive clothes? Not to worry. Baldies are a low shedding breed because of their lack of hair. You don't have to worry about shedding, frequent visits to the groomer, or brushing your cat weekly. However, you need to worry about bathing your cat more frequently, since the skin is bare and may accumulate oils often. Baldies benefit more from baths than other furry cats, because it's easy to clean the build-up of their natural skin oil, which often causes irritation and acne. You should give your baldy weekly baths, so that they can stay clean and comfortable in their own skin. The absence of fur makes it easy for baldies to feel the intense heat of the sun or to get cold easily. These cats aren't meant to be outside since they can easily get sunburnt. They will also have a hard time adapting to the cold since they don't have a furry coat to keep them warm. We recommend preparing a spot filled with blankets and a heating pad so that your baldy has a warm place to retreat to whenever the weather starts to get a little chilly. What are common health problems that Peter Bald cats often face? The most obvious are those directly related to their lack of hair covering, such as sensitivity to the cold and hot weather, sunburn and injuries due to easily cut delicate skin. Besides these issues, Peter Bull cats are really healthy breeds and stay healthy as long as they are cared for and fully vaccinated. Before you decide on getting a Peter Bull cat, you should take note of the pros and cons of owning one. For the pros, they are very social, affectionate, fun and playful. They are easy to groom and are generally healthy pets. On the downside, they are susceptible to injury because of their lack of hair and are quite sensitive to either hot or cold temperatures. This means that they would not fare too well as outdoor pets. They would be much happier and more comfortable being an indoor pet. Also, Peter Bald cats are very expensive to own and maintain. How much does a Peter Bald cost? This is not a cheap breed, as most would cost as much as $2,000. The fact that they also need to maintain a high calorie diet means that you may spend as much as $1,200 monthly on feeding, according to dailypaws.com. There are also other miscellaneous costs to put into consideration, such as toys, vet bills and others. Baldies are expensive because they are a rare breed and finding breeders is still very much a hassle. In general, hairless breeds cost a lot because of the difficulty in finding suitable cats to breed with. You can ask a reputable breeder or a vet for the availability of this breed. If they are too expensive to purchase, you may be able to find and adopt one from an animal shelter, although the chance of finding such a cat there is slim.